Hello, this is Anime Disrupt, and welcome to my seasonal anime recommendation video, the top 10 best new anime winter 2023 edition. First, let's get into the criteria for the anime in this video out of the way. This will focus on the anime that started to air in the winter 2023 season that runs from January 2023 to March 2023. The list will only contain anime I have personally watched as I will not recommend something I have not seen. So if you really like one that came out and I didn't give it a try, let me know in the comments below. The charting scale here is broken into four parts, silver being the lowest and anime with that rating will be enjoyable for fans of that genre but probably not anyone else. Gold is a promising anime that is good and even fans that may not be interested in that genre will enjoy it. Platinum is a great show that most people will enjoy it, and Diamond is the best. Regardless of who you are, you will enjoy this show and should be watched immediately. With that out of the way, let's get into some animation. Number 1 for our first anime, we have my absolutely favorite new show from the season, and that is Campfire Cook in Another World with My Absurd Skills. By the title, you know it's an isekai coming from MAPPA. The story follows Mukaido, an ordinary salesman that finds himself in a strange new world. While other heroes are given incredible skills for fighting, he is given the dubious skill Online Grocery. While the skill seems weak at first glance, we see how truly strong it is to have Amazon in your back pocket while in another world, allowing him to buy anything from food and water to appliances such as a gas stove. Early on in his journey, he is accompanied by Fenrir, a legendary beast capable of leveling cities. It is great to see how smart the main character is and how they build a world through their everyday interactions. The animation is top tier, especially when it comes to preparing dishes. There is a good balance of action in the world building where you are curious to see what is going on in the world, but they throw in some classic isekai action to scratch that itch. The main attraction is the food, the comedic interactions between the character and his familiars, as well as some of the classic isekai leveling up, action, and magic. So grab a bite to eat and follow Mokaido as he journeys to the world creating incredible dishes, gaining familiars along the way, and seeing all this new world has to offer. I give this anime a rating of Diamond. Number 2 Number 2 on the list is The Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess and the Genius Young Lady. Another mouthful, another isekai. This time we journey with Princess Anisphia, who is known as a crazy princess, declining her right to the throne in order to work with magical artifacts to achieve her dream of flying. Coming from a world without magic, she was taught by nothing to fly, putting herself through crazy new inventions and procedures. After her brother embarrasses Euphelia, his bride to be, Anisphia takes it upon herself to steal away the noblewoman. Anisphia is the incredibly creative one, and Euphelia is an incredible mage as they work together to create a new age of magic. Anisphia is just crazy enough that you can't wait to see what she does next and how she accomplishes it, in contrast to Euphelia who is a bit more shy. There is plenty of action for those seeking some monsters being ripped apart as well as magic and magical tools for the fantasy lover. The characters and magic are beautifully animated, and the world, although seeming like a typical fantasy world, has more to offer than what it looks like. I have been enjoying following Anisphia going through crazy experiments and following the growth of Euphelia, so I give this anime a rating of gold. Number 3 our first romance anime of the list follows Domo as she strives to make her childhood best friend Junichiro, known as Jun, see her as a girl. The only problem is that Domo is, can be seen as quite the tomboy as she is quick to resort to violence and is the strongest member in her father's karate dojo. Growing up next to each other, Jun does not see Domo as a girl and every attempt she has made has ended in failure, even a confession of love. Domo realizes she must make a change so with her friends she does everything possible to find a way to change the way Jun feels about her. Domo-chan is broken into bite-sized stories where you may get two or three per episode, leading to a lack of focus but it is saved by the interactions between the characters. One of the highlights is Misuzu, Tomo's best friend as she is sadistic and likes to see both Tomo and Jun in uncomfortable situations while also trying to help Domo achieve her goal of getting Jun to see her as a girl. A great romance of two childhood best friends takes some non-typical characters similar to a recent romance anime, Romantic Killer. The animation is great whether it be a beach scene or Tomo kicking ass, it's a pleasure to watch her adventures. Coming from someone that doesn't typically watch romantic shows, I give this show an enjoyment rating of platinum as romantic and comedic elements make this anime enjoyable. Number 4 Rookie reporter Meryl and her veteran partner are out to discover the truth looking for the gunslinging maniac Vash the Stampede with a 6 million bounty on his head. The only thing is that Vash is far from a maniac and is actually a pacifist that helps people. The bounty on his head is due to the atrocities committed not by Vash, but his twin brother Knives, whom we see through flashbacks. The story follows Vash as he escapes bounty hunters and journeys to face off against his brother. 
Known for their CGI animation, Orange does it again, proving CGI can be effectively used to create a stunning looking anime if done correctly. The character movements are great and the fluidity is breathtaking at times once you get through the initial flashback. This story does not follow the exact story from last time, allowing those new to Trigun to jump into this story. This does mean a different Vash without the same charisma as the original series, but it is entertaining nonetheless. If you are going into this hoping it's a continuation of Trigun, you will be disappointed. Instead, go into this as a separate entity entirely and it surely stands up on its own. Trigun stampedes its way into a gold rating. Number 5 Junta Shiraishi is socially invisible where those around him cannot detect his presence. It is so bad that even electronic sensors are not able to notice him and he must go to the teacher after class every day to ensure he is counted as attended. It is as if he's a regular NPC in a video game. That is, of course, except for one person, Kubo, a popular student that would normally never talk to Shiraishi, but she is able to notice him every time and takes interest in his unique skill. Kubo takes the time to tease him constantly, seeing how far she can push his invisibility. The story is quite heartwarming as you see these two slowly fall for each other, although Junta is as dense as he is invisible. Kubo's interactions can be airing on the side of bullying, but their care for each other shows it's all love and it's incredibly cute. The animation style is solid as the characters are quite nice to look at and it is nice and fluid. I give this a rating of gold since it's a feel good anime you can throw on at any point. The characters are interesting but Kubo doesn't always land for me and the comedy can be quite hit or miss. This is one of the only few pickups to be on high dive and recommend that everyone give it a try. Number 6 Coming in at number 6 is the third romance anime of the list, The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten. Amine is an average guy that goes to school with Mahuri who is commonly referred to as the angel at school. She's incredibly social, good looking, and has the highest grades. What isn't known is that a surprise encounter will interweave their lives in ways they cannot expect. As Amine is a man that cannot cook or clean after himself, this surprise encounter turns incredibly fortunate when Mahuri starts helping him with these tasks, spoiling him rotten. The story is quite endearing, although the character archetypes are quite formulaic where you have a guy that can't take care of himself and cleaning your laundry and a girl that is good at all the house duties. Their spark of friendship is nice to see as they help each other out in ways they did not expect. The relationship is heartwarming as Mahari slowly opens up to the next door neighbor. This romance anime is great to give yourself a shot of romance you didn't know you needed. Although the animation is mediocre at best, the side of characters do a great job of keeping you interested at times more than the main characters. So I will give this anime an enjoyment rating of silver. Watch these neighbors turn friends and pops up bully more, and the angel next door spoils me rotten. Number 7 For our fourth and final romance of the list, we have the ice guy and his cool female colleague. Himuro is the descendant of a snow woman and when his emotions take over, it can cause weather patterns around them to change. A nervous Himuro might be stuck in ice and an excited one might produce little snowmen coming out of his body. Himuro has a chance encounter with one of his soon-to-be co-workers, Fuyutsuki, before his first day at the job. Although Himuro is the son of a snow woman, you would have thought it was Fuyutsuki for she does not easily show facial expressions and emotions as she is a cool one of the two. The story is a typical workplace romance where two co-workers slowly fall for each other, but the characters are so endearing it makes you want to root for them and learn more. Himuro as the main character is incredibly expressive, making you want to see more of him. His interaction with Fuyutsuki showcases the one feels when first falling in love, and the animation is really good, but the character are what makes the show. There are also other co-workers that are descended from similar supernatural creatures such as the Phoenix. Watch these two in this heartwarming rom-com as they both work through their awkwardness as they get closer and closer throughout the series. I give this an enjoyment rating of gold. Number 8 Revenge. If you have a great grudge you want to resolve from beyond the grave, bite on the gold coin and a random group will enact the revenge, no questions asked. That is the premise of the show taking our number 8 spot, Revenger. The bite mark on the gold coin shows how deep the grudge goes and hires a group called the Revengers to settle your score. We start with Raizo, a hitman that starts working the Revengers group that was hired by a man Raizo himself killed. Not having anywhere to turn, Raizo joins the group as they work to enact revenge for those that have been these gold coins. The premise is interesting but does fall a little flat, having a group do an act of revenge no matter what does lead to some difficult stories as this deals with heavy topics such as drug abuse and kidnapping. The action is high flying with limbs being torn off and people being chopped up. The story can feel quite disconnected as they are just a group that gets revenge, there isn't an overall plot on what they are trying to achieve. The story does end up revolving around an opium trade that is ravaging the country. Since the overarching plot is hard to see at first, it seems like each episode is moving nowhere, but watching how characters in a government see skillfully and discreetly threaten each other as the threat of the opium trade grows makes sure the viewer is locked in no matter what. 
I would consider this a watch as long as you can be patient with the story. Although the premise and characters are interesting, the execution brings it down to an enjoyment rating of silver. Avenger. Number 9. Dariel is a soldier of the Demon King army that can't use any magic. He then gets fired one day and is not sure what to do with his life. That's when he meets a human woman and starts his new life in a human village, only to find out that despite being raised by demons, he is in fact a human. An incredibly strong one at that, as humans cannot use any magic, they instead use aura. While many of the Demon King's army understands what a lost Dariel's firing was, those that forced him out are envious of his competence and continue to plot against him. As Dariel gets used to his life as a human, he sees conflicted due to his demon upbringing, as humans and demons have been at war for centuries. How will Dariel navigate both experiences? The animation is lackluster and the story and characters are okay. Not the most compelling piece, but it's enjoyable to see Dariel navigate his new life and find out what he's capable of as he picks herbs and fight monsters. Overall, an enjoyment rank of silver, it is still worthy watch if you don't want something that is too complex but still has some fantasy elements. Number 10 Our main character, Finn, is dealing with financial stress due to his orphanage being on the verge of collapsing. Finn goes to the casino to test his luck and runs with a man that has exceptional luck and ends up taking all of Finn's money. Unfortunately for Finn, this man is a player and his luck comes from a card he is holding. After Finn gets involved in a card chase, it turns out Finn also has one of these cards. These cards are a set of 52 playing cards, each with a different power. There is a secret group called the High Card that Finn joins that collects these cards on the order of the King of Foralea. The premise is promising but lackluster as execution doesn't reel you in. The power each card has is unique and it's interesting to see what might come up next. For example, one card has the power to turn anything it touches into marbles. The animation is crisp and has good moments but overall nothing to write home about. Other than Finn, the characters don't do as great of a job of making you want to watch more. So that's why I give my enjoyment factor a silver. So get ready to see if the deck is shoved in your favor with high card. Taking our bonus spot is Buddy Daddies, where two assassins find Midi, a girl looking for a dad who they assassinate on a job so they end up adopting her for various reasons. Call me off of Spy Family, I was incredibly excited for this anime as the story sounds interesting and the animation looks amazing. Unfortunately, the reason it is in the bonus is that the story has not been engaging with an overall plot and the comedy there is doesn't make up for that. The biggest reason is that the child's voice is grating and detracts from the experience. It's hard not to compare it to Spy Family, but the two little girls really make a huge difference in the show. Where in Spy Family, I look forward to Anya being on the screen. Meanwhile, for Buddy Daddy's, Midi's voice takes me out of the enjoyment. I still give it a silver and a gold if you manage to get over these shortcomings. Thank you for sticking to the end. I hope these recommendations helped you plan on how to best use your time for watching shows. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And if you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment below if you want to talk about anything anime, my ratings, or I have suggestions on how to improve. A subscribe is always appreciated and have a wonderful day. The winter 2023 season has officially been disrobed.